Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to the Black Cauldron. Let's go ahead and climb up here. Um. Nope. Dang it. New object. Magic sword. The henchman falls to the ground, momentarily stunned by your sword. Run, Terran! The henchman is stunned. Leave him alone. You take the key ring and its keys off the wall. There we go. Let's go ahead and use the keys. Oh, hey there, mister. You have found a friendly-looking old prisoner. Who, who's just, you know, struggling there, hanging. Dude, dude, are you, are you, are you okay? You sure you're okay? My name is Terran, assistant pig keeper of Caradalbin, you say. May I assist you? You struggle with the with his ropes until you undo the knots. Ropes? I got keys. Why wasn't he chained? The prisoner speaks. Thank you, kind sir. I'm Fluter Flam, storyteller, minstrel, and bard. To the greatest kings in all Pryden. The Horned King has kept me imprisoned for years in this cell. In return for granting me my freedom, I'd like to present you with this special harp. Sir, Fluter, Fla Fluter says, uh, you, you capitalized both Fs there. You may choose to remain here, but I intend to make my escape. Farewell, Assistant Pig Keeper Terran. And we'll never see him again. Well, uh, okay. Let's, uh, let's... I, I'm glad that henchman decided not to uh, follow me in here, though. That's, that's, that's nice of him. Uh, let's see. C object. Keys. These are the keys to the Horned King's dungeon. See object. Harp. Fluter Flam's harp can make beautiful music in the hands of an artist. Oh, that's handy. Uh, okay, let's uh, let's actually go ahead and save it. Make sure that I've got my magic sword out. Oh, that's handy. He's gone. You swing and miss. You swing and miss. Benjamin falls to the ground, momentarily stunned by your sword. Run, Terran! What? I want to open the door. Can I not open the door? I guess not. That is my uh, cell. Okay, I am thirsty. I need to get out of here. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Stairs. That's not good. Oh, he just appears. That's... That's... Terrible game. Whoops. Carefully watching over your shoulder, you open the closet door. Aha! You found your missing knapsack and all your missing belongings. Reaching into the closet, you reclaim your possessions. Woohoo! Uh no. -oh. Keep away from me, sir. Uh, let's, uh, where's my water? Where's my water? There's my water. The water from your flask tastes delicious. But now you're out of water. Ah, oh, crap. All right. Well, uh, let's see. Let's get back on the sword. Where'd the sword go? There it is. You can't do anything here. There's okay. Whoop. Oh. You swing your ma the magic sword over your head with a tremendous force. It easily slices a chain, causing the drawbridge to come crashing down. And I managed to stun the um, henchman at the same time. Woohoo! Let's get out of here. I haven't fully explored the castle, but uh, we can do that later. We will have to come back, after all. Nope, can't go that way. I'm going to need to get more water. Oh god. 
This part again. Not this part. No, well, let's save it under temp. And die. <laughs> ah, thanks, game. Thanks for killing me so fast. Yeah, it's not it's not that bad. It's certainly not as bad as uh the path up to uh um Mananan's uh house in King's Quest 3. You know what? That's probably the wrong way to go, isn't it? I I screw that. I'm just restoring that. <laughs> Let's fix that problem right there. Man, that that water, that that water, that's uh, that's uh, that's pretty bad. They, they they really should do something about that. People could get, people could get sick. Really, they could. There we go. Let's go ahead and save it again. Do 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 Ah Rock climbing Rock climbing Tom Rock climbing That's F six on that. You grab the rope and begin your descent. Whee You begin to feel a little hungry. Uh oh, not that way. Don't do that. All right, where is my magic wallet? Food wallet! The magic food wallet produces enough food to satisfy you. Mmm, food. So good. Oh yeah, I have to go this way. Let's go this way. I'm up to 157 points now. Woohoo! Um. Oh, that's right. Over around this way. And then that way, and then back down this way. You should, give, you should give me points every time I navigate that game. The swamp to the southwest seems impossible to cross. The land is unstable and soggy. The trees here are old, gnarled, and bewildering. Nope, don't... Don't do that. Let's save it again. Now, there, I think there's two ways you can cross here. Let's see. Well. Okay. I think you can jump across a stone somehow. Not that way. You know what? Screw that. I'll take the easy way out. Where is my magic dust? Uh, as far as I know, the flying dust does not work to get up to the castle and back down again. Which is pretty bad. Sprinkling the fairy dust over your head makes you feel as light as a feather. Looking down, you see you're floating in midair, about a foot off the ground. Whee! Wow, that's, uh, that's pretty fast. As the sp spell wears off, you head for solid ground. You begin walking again. That, that was, uh, I'm not going to lie, that was kind of funny game. Let's go ahead and open that door. You cautiously open the door to this strange house. That's, um, there's not much there. You open the chest. Ribbit, ribbit. Uh-oh. That's, that's a lot of frogs. A shrieking voice pierces the air. What's going on here? Who are you releasing our guests like this? Perhaps you should join them. Um, no. No thanks. Orwen, Ordu, and Or... Actually, I wonder if that should be Orthu. And Orgok appear to be more than mildly upset with your thoughtlessness. They prefer to keep their formerly human guests in that chest. Um, I'll just leave now then.
No? Okay. Um, I am Terran, assistant pig keeper of Care Dalbin. Dalbin the mystic has sent me on a quest to recover the evil black cauldron which is missing from this, his land. His land? Dalbin thought... Oh. Dalbin thought that you might have this cauldron. Maybe I was supposed to go back to Dalbin and talk to him. If so, I only hope that you would be kind enough to give me give it to me in the name of the great Dalbin. Silly little pig boy, Orwin responds with a cackle. You know little of the ways of witches. We never give anything away. We only bargain. The truth is, we may have no cauldrons. We may have a cauldron, or we may have the cauldron. But you needn't worry, because you'll never know, since you'll be a frog. Uh-oh. Did they say, since you'll be a frog? Yeah, I think they did. Um... Do, do, what about, um... I got a magic sword. Here, you say. I offer you my most prized possession. A sword with magic so powerful, it once belonged to the good king who built the great castle over which the Horned King has taken over. Thank you, Terran, says... I'm going to assume that should be Orthu. This is exactly what we want. Now step outside with us, and you may have your black cauldron. Sweet! That's, um... That's a big cauldron. How am I going to get that home? Let's, uh... Let's make another quick temp save. Orwin laughs. Now you have the black cauldron you have been seeking, but it won't do you any good. <laughs> There's only one way to stop the evil power of the black cauldron, duckling, croaks, or orgok. A living being must jump into the cauldron of its own free will. Unfortunately, anyone who... Ooh, excuse me. Anyone who does will never emerge alive again. <laughs> or through cackles. Now you've lost your magic sword and have a, the cauldron, but there's nothing you can do to destroy it. Sacrificing your own life, you bravely leap into the evil black cauldron. It shakes violently, trembling the ground. You've saved Pryden from the evil of the Horned King and have made the cauldron powerless. Whee! For generations to come, the bards sing of your bravery. Congratulations, you have solved the mystery of the Black Cauldron. Too bad you didn't live to enjoy it. Well, shucks. Shouldn't it have shattered? We hope you've enjoyed your visit to Pryden and your success with the Black Cauldron. You probably think you could have earned a higher score. Of course, there's an easy way to find out. Play the game again! Don't forget, if you make different decisions, the game will be different. We hope you'll try again and again. Uh, well, okay, can I restore then? Let's let's not jump into the cauldron then. Um. Oh, there we go. That's what I was waiting for. Farewell, Terran, screeched the witches. There's nothing you can do now that the black... The Gwythaint has seen the black cauldron. Well, d d wait, hey, hey! No! My cauldron! No! I was gonna make stew in that! You bastard. I call shenanigans. You called them, didn't you? This is just a, a plot to give, get me the, uh, um... To get out of the bargain. I'm coming back here. I have a dagger. That is a lot of cauldrons. You are inside an unusual house in Morva Marsh. This room is filled with pots, kettles, and cauldrons of all sizes. That's, um... Uh, that is a lot of cauldrons. None of these cauldrons is the black cauldron you seek. But they're all black, and they're all cauldrons. Surely it's close enough for government work. Okay, uh, I guess we need to, uh, head back to the castle, then. You're in a hidden area of more of a marsh. The ground is wet with mu and mushy, so be careful where you walk. Alright, well, um, now that we've beaten the game, but not quite the way that they intended, and the, uh, reloaded and the cauldron has been stolen, I think it's time for us to, uh, save it. And find a new way to die. That's not exactly a new way to die. 
Well, shucks. Okay. Well, in the next episode, we will uh, head back to the castle and see if we can uh, um, rescue the cauldron or something before uh, um, the Horned King can use it. See you next time.